I have some positive news for Baylor football going into the game against Iowa State and Ames. Monterey Baldwin will be available. It's official because Monterey Baldwin said he is clear now. He's only 5'9", 164 pounds as a wide receiver, but he is so fast. And he was projected to be, he is like one of the better worst wide receivers on the team right now. And he has missed the last two games due to concussion. And he said, blessed. Let's get back at it. That is definitely help. Huge because it opens up the offense, I think, a little bit better now. Because now you have a downfield threat. In the first game, he had, and the only game he played, because, or recorded stats in general, this season, he had four receptions for 84 yards with one touchdown, and along was 47. And he had two rushing attempts this, this year. For 46 yards and with the touchdown and along was 50 yards on a touchdown run in the first game. And if you don't know that name, you need to go back and watch the Sugar Bowl highlights. And Baldwin breaks free and bears sick him by Joe Tessitore that he was on the call for that game in the Sugar Bowl against Ole Miss. If you miss, don't know his name, you should look up, look up the Sugar Bowl play on a jet sweep. So, this is obviously big because we needed him. He, is, he didn't play last week, of course, in the BYU game. I know I saw him going to the locker room or something, but it is clear it was a concussion. And it's and what Dave Aranda said. They just try to test and make sure he's cleared now he's for sure cleared this definitely opens like I said the playbook a little bit more I would think because he's now a downfield threat besides those jet sweeps like you could fake it instead of like having the running back have it like the running back go get uh, not really fake it but have him dive but then go the other way the op like Running back one way, one ray, then the amount of ray goes the other. So, this is great news, and it makes me feel a little bit better about the offense going into this game against Iowa State. Granted, we don't know about Ben Sims just yet. Yet. But at least we have one guy out of two on offense that are huge components back for this game. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's get into 400 subscribers and more by the end of this year.